you have always been by my side. Then the wife said, yes, darling. When I lost my first job, you were by my side. The wife said, yes, darling. When arm robbers took our first car, you were by my side. The wife said, yes, sir. The day our first house got burnt, you were by my side. He said, yes. You remember the day arm robbers came to the house? You were beside me. Say, yeah. That day when we were traveling, that they snatched our vehicle, you were also by my side. Even the day I got involved in the terrible accident, you were there, the wife said, yes, honey. Now that I'm dying, you are still by my side. The wife said, yes, honey. He said, come on from my side, you carry bad luck. <laughs> come on, make us see whether I go recover. <laughs> Only you there around, all these bad things, they happen. You know one give chance. That is when the relationship has gone wrong. You know one thing I like about, I don't know if anybody, today is Sunday. I don't know if anybody has a Bible here. Very important. I want to give you one quotation. Very, very important. If anybody gets, may bring, otherwise we'll leave it and move on to something else. If by chance you have, whether small one, big one, new version, old version, any type. But if you don't have, I'll move on to other things. I want to give you one very important quotation. Hey, <laughs> God bless you, my brother. Let's have it. You know, a lot of us don't understand. Hey, no worry, no worry. God understand. Mm. A lot of you don't understand why policemen collect bribe. A group of policemen stopped at a checkpoint. They were at the checkpoint. One pastor driving car reached there. Uh, sir, park, we are here for stop and search. The man park. Can we see your particulars? Particulars complete. Can we see fire extinguisher? Extinguisher day. Can you put on your wiper? Wiper the walk. Let us see your brake light in working condition. What of insurance a day? Ah, nothing to take collect bribe from this man. Why are you driving alone by this time of the night? The man say I'm coming from a crusade. Don't you know you're endangering your life? And your life is government property. Or you're packing and settle us. The man say I'm a child of God. I don't give bribe. Please, somebody come and open to the book of Matthew here for me. My... Where they keep Matthew for this small Bible? <laughs> I don't see all them brothers. Matthew, they miss. Okay, I don't see Matthew. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. open Matthew, please. Chapter 5. My pastor said, no, I'm a man of God. I cannot offer bribe. My police look and say, do you think you know the Bible? If you, know the very, if you know the Bible very well, you know that settlement is in the Bible. To settle police is in the Bible. Pastor said, I've read the Bible over and over. I have not seen it. He said, open to the book of Matthew 5. Open 5, 25 to 26. Can you read? Not be everybody where we wear glasses. Sabi read. Uh, Matthew 5, 25. Okay. Somebody come and read it out. Make it not be like saying, I'm read. One of the shy. Uh, come and read my brother. Read so that they go here. Matthew 5 25. Police, they tell pastor. Say that they are waste settlement there for Bible. Oh, yeah. And this is the word of God. Thank you, Thank you brother. Say it, brother. I agree with your adversary, adversary quickly. Hey, while wait, you wait, are... All over again. Okay. I agree with your adversary quickly. While you are on your agree way, with your, your adversary, adversary quickly. quickly. While you're on your way, with while you're on the road, lest your adversary deliver you to the judge. Lest your adversary deliver you to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the officer, and the judge will hand you over to the officer, and you'll be thrown into jail, and you'll be thrown into jail. Continue, continue, continue. Assuredly, and, as, and for sure, I say to you, I say to you, you will by no means get out of here. You will by no means get out of there. Until you have paid the last penny. Until you have paid the last penny. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know, one thing about 
My youth senator, for example, because very soon by his grace he will be governor. Maybe we're going to see chop from that side. <laughs> uh, you know, one thing about those positions that I'm not comfortable with, I don't know how you people do it here. In my country, if you become like a governor or a public official, they give you a police orderly or ADC who stands behind you. I think somebody stands behind the president here, right? <laughs> Who's always following him. If he wants to make a broadcast, one security man will stand. That is the part I don't like. Why would all of a sudden somebody be following another man around? <laughs> you go to work, he follow you. You want to go and urinate, the man is right there behind you. <laughs> Come, my friend, if you want to urinate, urinate, allow me. <laughs> but sometimes I imagine it. Is it that when you go back home, you want to sleep with your wife, the guy comes and stands and <laughs> Give me some space. You know, this particular governor went on tour and they arranged some fresh vegetables for him. You know what I mean. Some young girls to entertain his excellency. So they kept them in the room for his excellency and after his business meeting, he went back for the other business. But because the oddly cannot go in, the oddly stood by the door for security. Then his excellency went in. You know these university girls, they are very dangerous. The way they dance is the way they perform. <laughs> when they started with his excellency, two of them were dribbling him at the same time. From outside, people were hearing his voice. He did not know he was already speaking in tongues. Oh my God, oh my God, what are you doing to me? Oh, what are you doing? Hey, the only was hearing it. At a point, he drew his pistol, he was standing by, because he didn't know what they were doing to his excellence. Oh, you're killing me, you will kill me, I will die. Oh, you want to kill me? The only could not be it any longer. Mash the door, bust in, what are you doing? The excellence said, my friend, will you get away? He said, but I heard you want to die. If I want to die, is it your business? <laughs> Let me die. I don't need your help. <laughs> you know, anyway, I fear, I fear, you know, one thing about, you know, last time when I was here, I said it, that was at the Ghana Music Awards, that women are by far more intelligent than men. And I'm sure I was able to convince all of you that day. Please clap for the women. <laughs> by far very smart. You know, and I